Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lane, and today I'm going to be testing out a new product to me. This product actually came out in February. It was a Valentine's Day collection, but I just got my hands on it recently and I wanted to test it out for you. So it is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. It just looks like this. It's got 15 different shades in it and they're like pinky and purpley colors and they're super, super pretty. And I just wanted to test it out, show you a look using it and um, give you some inspiration on looks for this palette if you guys have this palette. Now this palette retails for $65. It is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. It was part of their Valentine's Day collection and is considered limited edition, but it is still available on their website right now. So um, if you've been wanting to try it out, I'd get it sooner rather than later so that it does, um, it doesn't go away before you're able to get it. Um, so if you want to see the look that I create using this palette, just stay tuned for the rest of the video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below um, on what you think of the palette, if you've picked up the palette and if you love the palette or not. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and all of those other social media platforms. They're always listed down below in the description box. And without further ado, let's go into it. So these are just the swatches of the palette. From all the way at the bottom, the first one is First, then Lifetime, Heartbeat, Transparent, Trust, Heart, Giving, Pure Love, Dark One is Commitment, Blind, Soul, possess Passion, Intense, Valentine, and Dream. These are so, so beautiful. And the metallics and slash shimmers swatched so beautifully. The mattes definitely perform better on the eyes than how they are swatched. But they still look so, so pretty swatched. And I love this color story. So something that I always do first is I always set my eyeshadow primer. So I'm going into the shade first, which is just a nude color and I'm just setting my primer down. I feel like this just allows the shadows to blend better than not using a primer. I think I'm gonna do a purpley look. I have not done a purple look on my channels before, so I think I'm going to use some purple um, tones. I'm just gonna use my Bling Brushes E2 brush. It's um, just like a blending brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade Valentine, which is right here. It's like a light pink. And I'm gonna dust this into my crease. And Bling Brushes actually just restocked these brushes. These are the Rose Gold Collection. They are super, super pretty. You should definitely go check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, but they just restocked these these ones. I actually just bought three of them. And I'm still waiting for one to come in. And they are so, so stunning. So definitely get... And they're not super, super expensive either. So definitely go get your hands on some of them if you can. Because they are beautiful.
Next, I'm just going to take a ColourPop one, um, E2 brush, and I'm just going to go into the shade Soul, which is right here, and put this into my crease. Oh, this shade is really, really pigmented. I would definitely say you don't need as much on the brush as what I put on my brush because this shade is extremely pigmented. I'm just going to go in with a clean blending brush and blend that out a little bit more. Next, I'm going in with this um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush, and I'm going into the shade Trust, which is up here, and also putting this in my crease to give it more of a purple. I'm just blending it out again. These shadows are super, super pigmented, super smooth, and super, super blendable. I love this shadow formula. This is the first time I'm trying one of Natasha Denona's big palettes. I have the the mini sunrise the mini sunset palette and that one's stunning and this palette is working so well now i'm going into dream and i'm just going to put this on my outer corner using a Morphe and Jeffree Star JS13 brush. And then again, just blending that out. I'm just going to go in to the shade Pure Love, which is this really pretty, it's kind of like a, it kind of like shifts, it's like a pinky purple that like has like a shift to it, it's super super pretty, and I'm just going to go and put that all over my lid.
now I'm just gonna move on to my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go into Soul, which was the second color that we used in our crease, and put this on my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to go into Trust and do the same thing. Then I'm just going to blend those two together. gonna mix the shades dream and commitment which is this really dark color and I'm gonna put this as close as I possibly can on the outer half of my lower lash line Now I'm just going to go into transparent and put this on my inner corner and brow bone. Now I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. This is the final look. I really, really enjoy the way that it came out. This palette is beautiful. This, the shimmers were so, so stunning and the mattes performed beautifully and they blended super, super well. As always, I will always list what other products I used down in the description box. I will also link this palette down below. It's so, so, so pretty. And definitely, if you can afford it, get your hands on it because it's beautiful and it performed gorgeously. Um, this is just the palette for, last, for one more time. It's so, so pretty. The packaging is so luxe and so um, pretty. This pink color is gorgeous. And I really enjoy the way that my eye look turned out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, comment, leave comments down below and I will be sure to reply to them. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all of that, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!